What's up guys, Jake Bear, and today we're taking a look at the Wanderous Drones Yin Yang Sanken. The frame itself is a low profile freestyle frame designed here in Sweden by designer Fredrik Lexell. The top plate is divided into two parts, one lower part for the battery and one taller part for the camera. This makes it look really nice even without an action camera and super suitable for a run cam split. The frame doesn't come with a manual but you can just look at the instruction video on their website. The plates themselves might seem a bit thin at only 2mm, but add all three together and they make a super sturdy construction. The carbon fiber plates has a really nice glossy finish. The big hole you can see here in the middle of the frame is for mounting your stack. That way you can mount your stack inside the frame and have even lower standoffs. The frame comes with this 3D printed soft mount which you can use if you want to. It's a very clean way to soft mount without having to put something on your flight controller or your motors. I started off by mounting the run cam split with some standoffs in the bottom. I decided to go with the F4 V5 Pro with built-in transmitter to make everything as small as possible as I went with the 10mm standoffs. Unfortunately, the top plate prevents you from actually soldering the XT60 connector directly to the PDB. This is definitely something I hope to improve in the future. The rest of the process was really straightforward. I just wish that this slit was a little bit bigger so that you could easily fit a zip tie in it for your antenna. I then made some holes in the bottom cover for the SD card and my beeper and then 3D printed it. Wondrous Drones offers a lot of SDL files for different parts you can 3D print for your drone. With the cover on, it's really easy to just remove the SD card and download all of your footage. If you want the cover I made, just check my Thingiverse page, link in the description. So, with everything assembled, this is what it looked like. And then, it was finally time for the maiden flight. And as you can see, it flies incredible. It really turns super snappy because of the low center of gravity. I never thought changing a frame would make such a big difference, but it really does. The soft mount definitely helps a lot too. I had some problem before with yellow, but now the yellow is barely visible, even though I have the camera hard mounted. I'm just gonna let you enjoy a bit of flight footage here, and I'll see you in a few seconds. So at this point, you're probably thinking, what about durability? Well, at least it survived this without a scratch. I can't really say anything about the longevity of the frame since I haven't owned it that long, but it definitely feels really strong. Just to show you the difference in flight performance, here's my reaction after the first flight. Okay, so that concludes my review of the Yin Yang Sanken by Wondrous Drones. And as you might have noticed, I really love the frame. It just flies amazing, I think it looks great. And in general, it's just a super nice frame to have for the run cam split in my opinion. So if you're looking for a lightweight freestyle frame with a low center of gravity that also allows you to have the battery top mounted with a really small footprint, then this is definitely the frame for you. However, I wouldn't really recommend it as your first frame, as it's quite expensive and would most likely break your first frame. I'll leave you with a few other videos you can check out if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one.